Hi, I'm Tiffany London. I'm an artist and angler here in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a fishing skills instructor for Pennsylvania Fish and Boat and a mentor for the Mayfly Project. My friend Amity Daniel asked me if I could do a how-to video for drawing trout. So today we're gonna do a little brook trout drawing. All you need are some colored pencils and a pencil. Uh, a lot of us are stuck at home right now. I'm helping my kids with school and I'm working from home, so this just might be something fun to break up the day. Thank you and take care. All right, so real lightly with your pencil, we're gonna start at the nose of the trout and work our way back here to the curve right before the caudal fin. We're gonna do his nose and his mouth. The hardest part of a trout is, uh, of any fish really, is to get the proportions correct. So once we get that down, we'll go over it darker. So gill plate, little curve here. Just go real light. So if you need to erase, that's fine. If you need to stop or pause the video. What we're gonna do is belly. So this is just like a basic flat perspective of a, a brook trout here. We're doing this caudal fin. We come up here to do the dorsal fin. The adipose fin. Then we're gonna do the anal fin. All these trout fins. And then if you go about to the center of the dorsal fin, that's where you're going to start your pelvic fin. And then we'll do the pectoral fin. So then I like to move his eye about right here. Now I like to go over it a little darker. Just with my regular pencil. Adding his gills. Nice curve here for the top and the back. Well, the fin's not perfectly smooth there. It's at the edges, so I like to accentuate those. Come back to his mouth. He's starting to take shape here now. Get his lower jaw. Again, if you need to stop or pause, Take your time. Oh, it's looking pretty good now. So then you're gonna draw the lines down here for the fins. Erase any of the light markings that you don't want anymore. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay. Back to the caudal fin. Get those lines finished back here. It's pretty fun. I've never done this before. Really neat. Now we're gonna do the lateral line. Still touching up a few little stray marks I don't want. And then I'm gonna start with a, like a darker yellow. 
come in here and do the worm-like markings. And this is like the book trout's camouflage. Helps them to hide from predators and if you look down in a ripple, it shines off his back, so he's got a little protection there. We're going to put some in the bottle pen, not quite to the edge, and not all the way down. It's going to be white. And then we're just going to add some accents here in his pelvic fin and pectoral fin. Also, a little bit of yellowy orange down here at the bottom. Well, it's kind of like a mountain. Put that in. Color it. Now, I'm using colored pencils. You can use whatever medium you would like. I mainly use watercolor and oil painting traditionally when in my studio, but the kids were nice enough to let me borrow their colored pencils, so I thought that would be something everyone could probably have at their house, so. So I'm just going to continue down along the bottom here with red. The belly, the underneath of the trout is white. The caudal fin here is going to be mainly red. And then all three of the underneath fins of the trout are also going to be red with a little white on the edges. And I'll probably speed this up for time purposes here with time lapse. But take your time, pause the video if you need, and play with around with different mediums, you know, marker, whatever, whatever you want to try. Paint. So now we're going to take a light blue and we're going to make these brilliant blue brook trout spots on the side of the flank here. These are some of my favorite signs of the brook trout. You can see why it's definitely artists, one of their favorite species of fish to paint and draw. And you're going to fill in the blue spots with the red. And you're gonna get like a, a darker green, like a hunter green. And just the main part of the fish here, the main part of the fish's body is a dark green. So just, I made my yellow dark enough and heavy enough so that I can just pretty much color on top. And then take a light green, make a few more trout spots. And it's looking pretty well. Pretty fun. And then take your dark green and just fill in the rest of the fish here. So, yeah, that's looking like a pretty good brook trout right there. I put a little light green in its cheek there. A little detail. I like to outline it in black here. Put some more details in the fins. Kind of pop, stand out. So yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope this gave you something else to do. And I hope everyone stays safe, stays well, and tight lines. Hopefully we get some more good weather and we can get outside and fish.